video is dedicated to Dr. Roland Chan. Thank you, Dr. Chan, for contributing to my latest Kickstarter project. I appreciate your support. So what I'm going to be talking about in this video is the one finger scale. Um, and so maybe I'll play a C major scale, for example, um, starting on probably second finger, since that's my most comfortable finger. And I'm simply going to do exactly what the name suggests. I'm going to play it only using that finger, which means I'll be shifting quite a few times, right? So we've got... opportunity to think about and focus on a lot of different shifting concepts. For example, and probably most importantly, the fact that it is the arm that leads the shift, not the finger, not the hand. Okay? And one way that we can, that we can help ourselves feel this is by perhaps exaggerating the motion of the arm a little bit. So maybe you watched the video about winding up before your shifts. This could be an opportunity to work on that. So here I am on second finger. I'm going to wind up and bring it around. Okay, and then I'll go back down the scale as well. Um, or, for example, I could really be focusing on releasing my finger, which actually this wind up makes it really easy to release your finger, right? Because it takes the weight out of the string. But anyway, um, so that could be a thing to think about. Of course, I also need to be measuring my half, st half steps and whole steps. So some of these shifts are whole steps, right? And some of them are much smaller, just a little half step like this one. Okay, so I, I get to adjust the distance of my shift based on that. Um, I could also try, instead of winding up this way, sometimes feels good to give yourself a little swoop in the opposite direction. So long as your arm's in motion and your arm is the one leading, you're probably doing something right. So experiment with different ways. For example, this. Let it drop it. Come up. Drop it. Come up. Okay, that kind of thing. Um, now, you could try this with different fingers. You could try a different scale, certainly. Um, and your half step and whole step, if you're in major, your half step and whole steps are still going to be in the same place, regardless of which scale you're actually doing. So it'll still be the same distance between each of the notes um, in the sequence of the scale. And this is an exercise which um, it's beloved by teachers because we, it does help get this arm motion going uh, and gets that feeling of slow, calm shifts. The bowing I was doing, of course, was just a lot of bow circles. Another down. I could either keep the string down so I really hear the slide from one to the next, or I could focus more on releasing the string. Oops, that was an ugly one, sorry. Okay, so many different things you could work on using this exercise. And definitely that sense of calm. Um, I think this, this one works well for that. So keep yourself feeling relaxed, keep yourself feeling cool, and keep that arm in motion. Have fun.